thank you for joining me for the Gemini solar eclipse and we have a very interesting Gemini new moon coming up just in a couple of days so the Gemini uh, solar eclipse will be Eastern time 6:53 a.m. on the 10th and the energy of the new moon in Gemini, which happens, obviously, it happens every year. It's always about what else do we want to know, where do we want to go. The Gemini energy itself, the new set, the new start, which we're putting it into motion, not just for the month, but until the next Gemini new moon. And because it's a solar eclipse, it has extra significance. So always the Gemini energy every year is saying, what do you want to learn that's very useful, that's interesting, where's your curiosity? It's turning up the curiosity factor. What do you want to learn? What do you want to read? How do you want to communicate? And it is also about short trips, you know, places, going someplace, visiting someplace again that perhaps you've been to but it's either been a while and you want to reconnect. Now, obviously every year the plan the rest of the planets are in a different position. Okay? So the res and the Sabian symbol is a cafeteria. Think of a cafeteria. What do you want to choose from? Now we have a very strong Neptune with this solar eclipse and Neptune wants us to dream. Neptune is the ideal, the idealism, it's a fantasy planet, it's a possibility planet, it's an intuitive planet. So there's much about going into our intuition, our ideas about what's possible, dreams, whether it's literal, that you start to dream more, it's like, oh, wow, I'm remembering my dreams, or if it's metaphorical, it's time to dream. That's very, very true. With Mercury... In this mixed, it's conjunct within a degree, which means it's under the beams of the sun. So Mercury kind of gets burnt, you know, you're like too close to the sun, too much sun, you get burnt. Uh, so there could be something where it gets a little bit rash, and with the Neptune energy there, the possibility of misunderstood communication or mix up in communication is possible. So even though this energy is about dreaming big, fantasy, where do I want to go? Let's plan some trips, be flexible. The majority of the planets in the sky right now are either in mutable signs, so there's this mutation, right? Today, and cardinal signs, which is about movement and change. So be flexible. Now, of course, we have the two heavy headers, the mess messengers of the year, the message of the year, and fixed signs at Saturn Uranus because they're square. And that the undercurrent will be, what do I keep, what do I let go of, and what do I change? There can be some resistance to the changes that are going on. And yet, how do we accept what we can't change in the changes, right? How can we accept and move forward the change that we don't want to change? So there's that element there. And also just about embracing change and being flexible. And this energy will give you a, a lot of support and the flexi flexibility. We have very interesting midpoint structures. Uh, this in cosmobiology, we... We work with midpoints, we work with the dividing the circle. Um, so we're dividing the circle by two and two and two again, So it, because that is the action energy. And the closest vibration when you're looking at the midpoints, what we call it midpoint structures, is this eclipse energy with Saturn and Pluto midpoint. So what does this mean? Well, what does Saturn Pluto want? Saturn Pluto is the sense of really focusing on something. And Saturn says, what's most important? So we have this double energy where you could feel like, oh, yes, I just want some time to go away and dream and 
do nothing, not have to think about anything, not have to worry about anything. Neptune wants us to encase us in this bubble of protection of the spirit world, the other world. And it is about tapping into the other side, the other world, whatever it is that works for you, you know, meditation, music. But this undercurrent of this intensity that also can say, you know, what is it that you really need? What's essential? Saturn and Pluto. What is it that you really want to focus on? Will support you in this dream possibility time frame. Now, that of course isn't the the only vibration. We have a that strong Mercury is about reaching out in communication. And we have a energy of Mercury um, deeply embedded in what it is, our, our different ideas. Now, it can mean that if you don't totally find an answer to something, your mind can go over and over and over something. And it's not about getting stuck in that loop. Because the Neptune says, hey, sometimes we just need to let it go. Go for a walk, you know, chill, listen to music, lay down, take a nap. And then the messages will come, come back. Venus, what is in Cancer? Uh, love of Cancerian, the world of Cancer which is feeling safe and comfortable and food and being with people that feel like family, family, home, just nurturing in your environment. But Venus is vibrating with that, with the new moon eclipse and Mars. Mars wants action, right? Mars is the action planet. Yeah, it's the warrior. Mars is also in Cancer. So very last, last degree. But Venus, what we love, what makes our life worth that sense of joy, it brings a beautiful life. What is your beautiful life? So if Venus is intimately connected to the solar eclipse with this extra punch of Gemini energy about putting the little pieces together that will create a beautiful life and Mars wants to take some action at it. So a lot of thinking, you know, it's like putting the pieces of a puzzle to, together in, in many respects. Then one more quick uh, vibrational midpoint vibration in this chart and this energy, this message from the universe is Pluto. Remember with Pluto, we started with Pluto because the eclipse energy is with this part of the Saturn Pluto energy. What's essential? that you can focus on to bring in your world. And then on a flip side, Pluto is vibrating with two other, this other combination of Venus and Uranus, which wants things to be, Uranus wants to awaken us, but it wants to bring an excitement into life excitement and an awaken to the things that you love and be able to put some focus on that. Even though the focus, that overarching focus, has this very strong Neptunian flair to it, so it is about visualization. It is about your vision board, your um, notebook where you can just jot things down, your dream journal, anything, any of those type of tools you can you can do the action right now can be in that aspect and then on the physical aspect because the physical aspect is the saturnian part okay let's get to it let's bring it into the 3d world so in essence that is uh some core core vibration core message from this solar solar clips and Gemini that we have and I am wishing you a joy-filled 
uh, joy field filled energy. Oh, one, there's always one more thing, right? The one more thing to mention is that Jupiter is in Pisces, and it's stationing in Pisces, meaning it's going very slow before it goes retrograde. And Jupiter in Pisces is in its traditional rulership. So it's uh, it likes, which means it likes being in Pisces. It can help you out a lot. But what does it want to help you out with? It wants to help you out. And how does it connect to Gemini? Jupiter in Pisces wants to help us out with having faith that things are going to work out. Having faith in things that you can't see, but you believe in. What can you believe in? Since Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is of the mind, is of the ideas. Remember, Mercury was, can go between the upper world and the down, you know, lower world. Cosmic consciousness and bring it down to us, channel it down to us. So the Jupiter energy, having faith, belief, and confidence, even though you can't see it, along with this Neptune, which is so much about the visionary work, and the Gemini energy about the mind. You know, words, words can be very, very powerful. Thoughts can be very, very powerful. And asking Jupiter for that support, having tapping into it, tapping into it, that, yeah, you can, you know, have this belief in this fantasy, but tapping into that core energy of oh, having faith. Maybe you don't know how it's going to happen. Maybe you want a different career path. Maybe you want to live someplace different. Maybe you want a different relationship or that your relationship is different. Or whatever it is. You know? Maybe you don't know, don't have the answers, don't have all the pieces of information, Gemini information, together yet. But having that faith that, well, just because I don't know it now doesn't mean you won't know it later or be able to figure it out. So I will leave you with that and have a beautiful, blessed time in this Gemini eclipse season. Thank you for joining me.